Did you have many swaggy sort of calling? Yes, we did. One Christmas day, Father went and got a swaggy up from under a tree. There was a big tree just outside the road coming into our place, and he was sitting there. Father fetched him down for Christmas dinner with us. So even though there mightn't have been enough for you, there was still... No, oh, we always had a good Christmas because we grew everything. I was only telling the kids the other day how we started for Christmas. About November, Mum would start and make Christmas cakes. Then about towards the end of November, she'd make four gallons of ginger beer and four gallons of hop beer. And she'd set a little kegs and we'd put them in there. And that was our drinks for Christmas. Then Christmas, about two, a day before Christmas Eve, We'd kill a poultry, we'd kill a pig, we'd kill a lamb. And then Christmas morning, she'd get up about four o'clock and start cooking that for Christmas dinner. We had a great big stove, a firebox in the middle, a big oven each side. And she'd have a second pig in one side and a turkey in the other and cook that. I used to have to get up and milk the cows and separate the milk to have fresh cream for the fruit salad. <laughs> and then... We'd come then, when we'd done all that, we could open our presents and then we had to start then getting ready, making salads for tea time. Sometimes we'd be 30 there for tea and after everything was done, about seven and a half past seven, Mum and Uncle Harry would go and start playing music and we'd start dancing. We'd dance till five o'clock in the morning. This was your Christmas? That was our Christmas. And I always said if I had it, one wish, that's what I'd wish for again, to have just the same as that.